Right, new video on a bit of a how-to really on audio. So we get asked quite a bit about audio upgrade options for transporters. Um, and so we thought we'd do a bit of a series, starting off with kind of entry level basic setups for yourself. I say basic, still a really good sound, right the way up to something a bit more advanced, full on system with subs and DSPs and various bits. But anyway, starting off with this new system that you might have seen floating around social media from Alpine Audio. Let me just take you in closer. So they brought out a couple of new plug and play kits for T6 and T6, well, sorry, T6.1 and T6. There's just the one size option, which is the six and a half, uh, 16 and a half centimeters, six and a half inch for the T6.1 and the T6, there's two options. There's actually a slightly larger version for those as well. There's gonna be an eight inch version for those because you've just got a bit more space in the door. So these kits are gonna retail around the 330 pound mark. I think the eight inch version is gonna be about 380. So Josh is gonna take you through these, the audio expert. He's gonna get these fitted in this van, so we're gonna start off with this T6.1 kit in here and show you a basic setup. So nice kit that um, they've brought out. Really like the detail, added these nice silver tweeter covers so you get the speakers and the little tweeters. Josh is gonna take you through that, get it installed. And then the principle is the same on a T6, but we're using the T6.1 for this example. So this is the hustle made man, getting an audio upgrade. So yeah, I'll hand you over to Josh and we'll get it sounding a bit better. 10 more spanner to begin. I want to get under the door and undo the little clips, pop them 90 degrees. That's so the bottom of the door cord can pop off. And then you come up to the top and you slide the plastic trim tool in here just to gradually pop off the cover for the door handle. And behind the door handle cover, there are two torque 30 screws. And unscrew that. One. Sometimes they stay in the door card, sometimes they don't. Then, in the middle of the door card, there's a T15 screw. Pop that out. Feeling brave, you can pop the window switch out to unplug it, and then it's a matter of popping the door card off. So you can pry it away a little bit. There we go. And then come around it gradually, lift it up. So, and then, I don't know if you'll be able to see, there's a little clip, holds the door latch, pull a little bit of plastic back, pull it forwards, and that's the door card off. Next step, you want to drill the rivets out. Taking the old speaker out, pops out like that, and then there's two little spring clips, and that's your old speaker out. It's worth mentioning, pop the window switch back in, and just put the window up, because for the next step, popping the little rivet backs out, and you're mounting the speaker and the, you don't want this, any screws or anything to hit the glass because you don't want to have to replace the glass in the door. Next step, mounting the ring in the pack, the uh, audio pack, you get sets of little screws and nuts. Um, there's one for each side, one set for each side. So the next step is using these little Allen head screws and they'll basically go through the ring to here and you'll nut them from the other side so there's four of them try not to drop the little nut down the back of the door it will be a nightmare trying to get it out but yeah we'll do that now Oh, I've got a bit of 
speak in there. So those screws are in, used a 4mm Allen key and it's a little 8mm nut on the back. So that's now mounted, nice and secure. Next step is to mount the speaker and also put the pins in on the plug, which is a little bit awkward. So you have to look at which way the plug goes, see which is your positive, your negative. So the red and blue is your positive, the brown and the blue is your negative. And then work out which pins it is and then locate the speaker pins inside the holes. So we're going at the end on this one. And then there'll be a little click, you know it's located. And we've got the third one across from the left for the power. There's a little click. And then the speaker can be mounted. You get four little screws for this as well. One thing to note, before you put anything together, these little screws you get, screw them into the speaker holder first to get the thread in there because there's nothing worse than going to screw your speaker in, your screwdriver slipping and going through the speaker. Next bit, Phillips screwdriver, and you want to start putting the screws in. Once you feel them go a little bit tight, just let off and get all of them in a little bit of the way, and then go around and tighten them up. Next, put her in, nice little clip. And then the last thing, you get a little foam ring in the pack, pull off the double sided tape, and then you just want to sit it on the edge, just try and line it up, and then just go around, make sure it's stuck on. That creates a nice seal between the speaker and the door card so you get as much of the noise coming through as possible. Right, next step, pop the window switch back in, put the ignition on, pop the window back down, and we'll take that out, and then we're going to mount the door card back on. So on the back of the door card, there's obviously these little clips that sit around to locate it. You want to make sure they're pulled up so that when they pop in the holes on the door card, they locate and hold the door card on. Otherwise it'll be f***ing around all over the place. Got a couple of little screws to get out of here. One, two, two little T30s that we took out earlier. It's pretty much a reverse of how I took it off. We're going to locate this in there and then pop it in and then the window switch just keep tucked there and then it's a matter of locating the door card. Pop it down, it will seat nice in place and then you can look through the gap in the side and see where they locate, line them up and give it a nice tap. And there you go, that's located. So then we get our two torque 30s, go in, pop them in. line up the little holes and just pop it on and then T15 we had gonna go back in the slot a little bit fiddly but it will go screw that in and then our 10mm spanner back underneath just to spin the little clips round 90 degrees again just so the bottom of the door card doesn't come off 
last step for the door cord is just popping the window switch back in. So hook it in at the top and pop. Don't forget the thumbs up. Oh, Fred. Right, next step, taking the A pillar off to replace the tweeter setup. <coughs> so you want to grab your pry tool and you want to come over here, pull the little rubber seal back a little bit and then behind you've got some little plastic clips, very difficult to see and you basically put in your pry tool in to pop them off like so. So if you can, when you're taking this plastic panel off just pry it out a little bit, work your way along Just leave it hanging, don't unplug the airbag switch and then you've got clearance to get this out and it pops out. So next step we've got to unplug the tweeter which is a little plug in here and it's just a couple of little spring clips. And then that's out. Now onto the bench to take the tweeter off. Right next step We've got to break these little plastic bits of weld off. So use whatever tool you feel comfortable with. I'm gonna use some little snips and a screwdriver. You basically come in along and just break in the little bits of plastic weld off. So you'll go around the whole tweeter, break them all off, and then that'll pop out. Now we've broken all the little plastic welds off, you should be able to remove the tweeter. Get a little screwdriver in, pry it up a little bit. And there's the old tweeter out. So next, we've got the grill. And that should just pop out, like so. And now it's on to fit in the replacement grill and the new tweeter. So now we've got the tweeter in three parts. You want to take the outer, surround and the little metal grill pop it in and then you mount in it in the slot for the tweeter can be a bit fiddly put it in lightly and just hold it behind and then you get in the rear face basically hovering it over and it will just clip in like so work your way around all the little clips popped in and that's the speaker grilling after that you get in your tweeter and just clipping it in like so and now we can fit it back in the van so we've got the new tweeter surround on the A-pillar coming into the van basically plugging it into the original slot and then lining it up and you want to look through the little gap and try and line up the pegs with the holes and then slotting it in make sure and it's nice and in the rubber and then you can replace the panels that you took off so just line them up slide it in and obviously the little vent just lines up and it's in whatever he should try to do Right, so speakers in and they sound and look really good for a really simple kind of plug and play system. 
um, I think it's a mass massive improvement. Hopefully, uh, Josh running you through that will help you do anything this simple yourself. There's also um, uh, a DSP and uh, Amplify system that's coming out in the next few months. So we'll install that on this fan as well to show you how easy it is to add that to the existing system that's in. But I think they just they make the, the sounds a lot rich, richer, a lot crisper. It's got more bass to it. It's a the, the thing, trouble with these things is they're just commercial vehicles, and when VW design them, they don't design them to sound good. You know, they're just there for background music while you're driving along, delivering your Amazon parcels, or on your way to your next builder's job, because that's really what they are, aren't they? They're commercial vehicles, and this just makes them sound a little bit more luxury. Really impressed with it. So we'll kind of scale up from here. So we'll do another video with the DSP and the um, amp setup. We're also going to do another f uh, full audio system in another van that's kind of real high end. But uh, yeah, I think they look really smart. You've probably seen all the pictures anyway, but finished off really nicely. They clip in really well. They look very factory. Uh, you'll see on the T6.1, the dash is quite a lot higher, so they sit really low. On the 6, they'll be a, a quite a lot more exposed, but I, I'll put the sound on. Not that you can ever tell with these things. never comes through on a camera does it so it probably just sounds exactly the same as original to you so these kits are on our website now or if they're not immediately they'll be on in the next few days as the stock starts to filter through and the the sub kit as well will be added shortly hopefully that video was useful we're going to continue to do more audio upgrade videos so if you're interested in audio upgrades at all to your transporter make sure you like the video subscribe to the channel and click the little bell to get notifications when we release some more videos as always thanks for watching